In this video, I want to talk about how we take up vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 is very important as it serves as a core factor to recycle tetrahydrofolate. You probably know that tetrahydrofolate is very important for DNA synthesis. So if you do not have enough vitamin B12, we cannot make properly DNA. And always the first cells that are going to suffer from impaired DNA synthesis are going to be our red blood cells because these are the most fast dividing cells. Therefore, if we have vitamin B12 deficiency, we might end up with anemia. And in this particular cause, it's called megaloblastic anemia. So where do we get vitamin B12 from? We get it from animal products, like from shellfish or meat. So when we eat these animal products, the vitamin B12 is tightly bound to food proteins. So vitamin B12 has also another name. It's called also cobalamine. So we make in our saliva a molecule called transcobalamine, which would love to bind to vitamin B12. It's also kind of the transporter for vitamin B12, but it can't at this point because vitamin B12 is already bound to food proteins. So the only thing that it can do at this point is just to follow those two along into the stomach and see if the situation somehow changes in the stomach. And it actually does, because in the stomach we have the GIF cells that are going to release pepsinogen. And the pepsinogen is going to be activated by acid to pepsin. And what does a pepsin do? It will degrade the food proteins. Now the vitamin B12 is free of the food proteins, so transcobalamin is going to be very happy because now it can bind to vitamin B12. But we make in the stomach also another molecule, the intrinsic factor coming from the parietal cell, which also loves to bind to vitamin B12, but it can't because again now the transcobalamin has taken over. So it only can follow the two now again and see if things change. And they do, actually, in the duodenum. Because in the duodenum, we have the release of trypsinogen from the acinar cells. And it's going to be activated by enterokinases to trypsin. The trypsin then degrades the transcobalamin. So now, who is going to be very happy? It's going to be the intrinsic factor. Because it can finally bind to vitamin B12. And it's going to bring the vitamin B12 into the ileum, where intrinsic factor has a specific receptor called cubulin that can take up the vitamin B12. In the blood, there's another transcobalamin waiting for the vitamin B12. It's called transcobalamin 2. And so this is going to bring the vitamin B12 in the liver, where we have our stores of vitamin B12. This concludes the video on absorption of vitamin B12.